Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, ba, da, dum. Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your home to learn how to play the mandolin, the guitar, the banjo. Every week I put out a video, about a 30 minute video, at BanjoBenClark.com showing you how to pick. I really appreciate your support of the site. Today, we're going to start a new series uh, that I hope to dive more into in the future, just called Exploring Backup um, in Mandolin. And some of my favorite backup with mandolin is on slower songs um, where chop's not necessarily needed, okay? But sometimes these are uh, arpeggios. And it's kind of cross picking, but what I really like doing is kind of establishing a rhythm of that cross picking and then throwing little licks in. And that's what we're going to concentrate on today. I'm gonna give you um, four different transitions, little licks, to go in between cross picking uh, between an A, a D, and an E chord, but also we're going to work in the F sharp minor um, because that's one of the major, the major minor chords in the key of A. If you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook, I ask you to go over to banjobenclark.com where you can download the tab uh, to this lesson as well as hundreds of others. View tons of videos over there. I'd love to have you. Thank you for everyone who has come over there. Let's dive into uh, exploring some mandolin backup ballads in the key of A. Today we're going to look at how to do some uh, different types of backup, um, dealing with slower songs, maybe ballads, specifically in the key of A. That's what I'm going to teach you today, some different transitions uh, to go in between chord changes. Now, of course, not every song in the key of A is the same, but most of the songs in the key of A share a lot of the same chords. So we're going to identify some of those um, major chords and a couple of the minor ones today so that whenever you encounter a song in the key of A, uh, you'll be able to just take some of this and move it right on over to fit whatever song you have. Okay, I want you to pay attention there on the tab. I have uh, the pick directions beneath each one of the notes. And what we're going after today is, you know, typically mandolin rhythm in bluegrass is, is the chop. But sometimes songs call for kind of a, a, a less rhythmic, feel, I guess is what I would, um, how I would describe it. It may call for some uh, rolling type stuff, especially whenever it comes to like a verse that the mandolin would fill. Okay, so if you have a slower song like that, maybe one verse would have the banjo or the fiddle um, doing some fills, then I might chop. But then when it comes to my verse to fill, I might go to something like this. Okay, which is just really pretty. I love this uh, style of mandolin playing. And so let's just look at measure one. And the first time through this progression, what we're doing is two measures of A, then we're going into two measures of D, okay, which, and this lick also works over um, the sixth minor chord and F sharp minor chord. Then we'll have two measures of E and then wrap it back up with two more measures of A. Okay, so eight measures total in each one of these little exercises. That's another thing that serves as just a great cross-picking exercise. Um, and we're going to, the first time through here, we're going to use scale um, just to move between the two chords. So I'm just going to start there measure one and play up to measure three, and you'll hear where I use that scale. It's there at the end of measure two. I'm just coming down the A major scale. Second part of measure two. It's leading me into playing over a D or an F sharp minor chord. Another thing that I want you to just realize, a lot of you may not have a lot of theory, and I have some great theory videos here on the website where we talk about major scales and chords, and all of that's very, very uh, important for you to watch. But whenever I hammer on there in the first measure to the second fret of the D string, and then I'm playing an open A string and an open E string. So these actual lettered notes are E, A, E. And if you know your A major triad, your A major chord, there's three notes in an A major chord, A, C sharp, and E. Okay, so we're playing two out of those three notes. We're playing an E note, an A note and another E note that's an octave higher. And so that's what makes this sound good over an A major chord. And I'm just going to hammer on at the beginning just to kind of give it a little movement. 
Okay, and then after I roll through that E string, I'm going to skip a, a downstroke and let that E note hang over and then come back for an upstroke on the open A string. So measure one very slowly, sounds like this. Let's count that together. One and two and three and four and. And then I'm not going to move anything. And the second time I hit that E string there at the end of measure one, that's carrying over into the first beat of measure two. So it gives kind of this perpetual um, rolling sound, okay, this syncopated rolling. And there's tons of different um, rhythms that we could make uh, with this. You could. You can mix it up however you want, but this is just one that I give you that I really like and I kind of default to. Um, so once again, measures one and two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And I'm just walking down that scale. That's part of the A major scale. I have that here on the side. Now I'm going to measure three, go into uh, something that needs to work over a D or an F sharp minor chord. Mm -hmm. 